No, I used to love the Thomas the Tank Engine when I was a kid. Uh, I had the backpack and everything. But uh, nowadays, not so much. Uh, I get to play with trains enough at work, so <laughs> I don't do it outside. My name's Hiten Mystery, and I uh, work here at Bombardier as a systems engineer. We're going over to the test track. Uh, it's about a kilometre long. It's on the Derby site here and it allows us just to dynamically test the VOU trains. My day is pretty varied, especially over a week. Um, but they might, obviously you've got the mundane sort of checking emails um, in the morning, but uh, from that um, you might get calls saying that there's a problem with the train and um, you'd look at the software code, try and see where the problem is. Um, maybe you need to go do some testing on the train, so you might pop out onto the train. Right, what we got here, we've got eight cars of VLU train, so it's for the new London Underground uh, upgrade for the Victoria line. This is one of the better parts of the job because you can sit at your desk all day, but when you come out onto the train and you can test it all out and you've got something you can touch and feel and, you know, make better, it's, uh, it's brilliant. Systems engineer, basically, with a the train, there's so many different uh, subsystems on it. So you've got the doors, and you've got traction, and you've got uh, lighting and heating, etc. And basically, my job is to provide uh, a communication bus on the train, and we basically integrate all those different systems together, so they all communicate together. I never thought I'd be a computer programmer or a software engineer, but basically, I started out looking, looking at uh, electronics, and what really got me was control basically. Uh, you've got mechanical systems that are electronically controlled. That's where my passion sort of started. But today's industry you can't get away from the software side of things. So I've learned a bit of that as well. So I've just loaded up some new software. Once it's done we'll restart it and then we'll see if we can get some of these tests working today. When I was a kid um, I used to play a lot with um, Lego and then it kind of moved on to Meccano as I grew up and then it started ending up being small electronic sort of play toys, so stuff where you used to press buttons and something used to open up or used to flash an LED or something like that. Um, that's, I used to love playing with that sort of stuff. And that sort of developed and then my sort of interest started with cars and how cars used to work and engines and how stuff worked in general. I like maths, I like science, so I carried on, uh, took me through university. I like to build things, you know. You, when, you, when you have an idea or you have, you know, lots of pieces in front of you and you can end up building something and at the end of it you sit back and go, I did that, <laughs> or I was part of that, and that's, that's a great feeling. And I, I have that here at Bombardier as well. I've always loved maths. Maths was, sort of, you know, and... Uh, it's always something that, when you start off, you kind of think, ah, where am I ever going to use this? And then as you continue and you start to, um, you know, maybe you do it at A-levels or university, you start to realise how useful it is and how it, all these things like, you know, how to figure out one side of a triangle and then suddenly you're using it to um, monitor electron, uh, electrical AC wave paths, you know. A train isn't built by one man. Um, you've got a lot of big teams building, building that go into a train and there's, there's so many different aspects to it. You know, you've got human factors and mechanical, electrical, software. So we have to work with a lot of, lot of people, a lot of engineers and that's brilliant. It, uh, it uh, makes the day more interesting when you have to go and speak to different people. Uh, right now we're in the production shed, so this is where the series build of the VLU trains is actually going on right now. Best thing is when you've got something working. <laughs> it has to be. When something wasn't working and uh, you get called up and you're like, hey Ten, we need it. this isn't working, can you come onto the train? And you go on the train and you know there might be some time scales, the customer might be coming in the afternoon or something. And you, you go out there, you look at the problem, you do your, do your stuff and then you, you load it up and it works. You go away and you go, that's it, get a pattern back, it's all good.